if I had natural hair, I would love for my hair to look like this. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Ooh, look at this hair. Yes, another hair video. And guess what? No lace, only a tiny bit of leave out, and this is what we are working with. This hair is absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait to tell you more about it, where I got it from, and show you how I install it and blend it with my straight, relaxed hair. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe and become a part of the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do hair videos, I do makeup videos, I do hauls, tutorials, nails, Pretty much anything related to beauty so if you want to see y'all if you want to see how i install this hair stay tuned and keep on watching so i'm gonna jump right into this video i'm gonna try to keep my thoughts together i'm excited because i have been wanting to try a unit like this forever this is from the brand i like hair this is the box here i like this orange like it's bright catches your eye love the logo um this unit here is their i part 4a curly wig and it's 20 inches long in the box I will show y'all what all came in the package. I have already opened this. I took the hair out. I washed it. I added some products to kind of tame it and get it looking good. So now we're just going to install it. And then I'm probably going to keep this on and work out in it because if this is easy to put on and it's just like big hair don't care, I think this is going to be so fun. So in the box, you get this teaser comb and brush which you can use on the roots of the wig. I'll show you what I mean with this. You also get a shower cap. This is a satin cap that is lined with plastic. I thought it was pretty thoughtful. And then you also get this nice makeup bag, which I'm sure I could use for other stuff, other hair stuff. But you get wig cap, comes with two wig caps in the pack. And then you also get two clamps and a pair of tweezers so i'm gonna keep all this out because i may need to use them and then you also get a rat tail comb so never can have too many of those i've seen so many people review these wigs and i think it always looks great my only concern is i picked a wig that is nothing like my current hair texture it might be my natural hair texture but it is not my relaxed texture and i did put a relaxer i think it's been a couple weeks so my hair is like super straight and this baby is not y'all look at all this gorgeous hair this texture and like i said i did co-wash it and i put some products in it i let it air dry but this is the construction, so this is an eye part, which means you can get, if I can get this to show you, the thinnest possible part here, so that if it's closer to your hair texture, you can wear it with no leave out at all. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that, but you've seen me do a video with a U-part wig where I had to take a pretty big section of my hair out. This is gonna be like literally just around the part to cover up the wig so you can see there that is how the wig looks for the part that could be exposed if you could comb a little bit of your hair over it then it wouldn't show or if it's closer to your natural hair you can anchor it brush up the roots a little bit and then it would all blend these are your combs on the inside so you have several combs to attach it to make sure it's secure and then you also have combs on the side so you have two combs here focus two combs here and then you have a comb in the back and then you have your adjustable straps so one thing i did see in terms of helping to blend with your own hair is you kind of 
mess up the roots here where the track ends just a little bit to make this edge not be so it looks so much like an edge you almost want to like pull the hair over it just so it looks seamless so i'm going to do that and then i'm also going to tease the roots of my hair i'm going to try to do this first with no leave out but if not, we will do leave out. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of leave out just because I feel like that's gonna be the best way to blend the two textures. I'll put it on so you guys can see before I cover it up. I do not see, and I don't know if it's just me, but I don't see how with this, with the way this is constructed, I don't see how this one can actually be covered just by messing up the roots because I've tried to brush them. And you can see it's a little messy. I just don't think it's gonna cover it, but I'm gonna put it on and see. As we all know, I wear a side part. That is my favorite. You can wear this as a middle part. You can wear it as either side, it doesn't matter. But you do not need any glue or anything like that for this wig. So if you're a beginner, that is definitely a plus. So I did, tease my hair a little bit. Oh, I need to move this back a little more. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the front first and get that where I wanted, and then we can anchor the back. So this first one, we're going to put as close as possible to the part right here. I'm gonna slide that back a little bit more just to make sure that the track is not sticking out in the front and has some coverage. I don't think we can get any closer to the part than that one, so that is perfect. And then we will just work our way around. So the next comb is here. So again, anchor that one and close it. I think the biggest thing to realize with these wigs is that you have to do some type of styling to the unit itself. A lot of times, and this is something I had to learn, like you get it, and right out the pack, it does not look like it looks like when other people wear them and you're like, oh, I didn't get the right thing. This is not what I ordered. No, it is. You just got to do some work. So I'm going to go ahead and anchor the other two front ones. And again, we want to get it as close to the part as possible. And I didn't want to leave too much of my hair out because, like I said, the texture is not the same. So I'm going to have a little bit of trouble mixing it in, but I think it will be fine. And then also get this one as close as possible. And make sure this is flat. And then the last one. Might be a little too far forward, but I think we can make it work. So as you can see, I need to get this closed, but this is a lot, there we go, a lot less leave out than we had with the U-part wig. So now let's see. So my hair is gonna cover, I'm probably gonna pin this with a bobby pin in the front, this little piece here. And just try to brush my hair is also a little thinner here in the front so I don't want to do too too much so I'm just gonna try to blend my hair in with this a little tiny bit I probably could like crimp it or wet it or something like that but let's do that and see my hair is straight like I don't know what other than the fact that if I'm buying a wig, I want a wig that is not my texture. Um, that's what made me choose this one. So I'm just gonna try to weave my hair in with this hair and hopefully we can make it come together. I'm gonna play with that in a little bit, but make sure my part looks a little bit straighter and cleaner. And we'll definitely have to pull some more from back here. Okay, got that repositioned. So now we're gonna do this again. So I'm gonna do push a little bit to the back to cover up that. 
and then this tiny tiny little bit of leave out just to cover the root of the wig Make sure my part looks good, and then we will tease and do everything else that we need to. And then I'm probably gonna try to slick this down and just make sure it looks good. The biggest thing on these, like I said with the U part, is figuring out the positioning. And then once you have that, you're good. I'm just gonna play with my hair and see if I can get it to blend with this. But so far, this is flat. I don't feel like I can comb, I can comb this over for sure. Maybe add another bobby pin, because you can still see a little bit right here, but not a lot. I can fix that. So I'm gonna style this and I think it's gonna be good. All right, so right now I'm just adding some loose to the hair, which is gonna help to kind of tame the texture of the hair, but also is helping to kind of make mine look a little more wavy as opposed to as straight as it was. So we are getting somewhere. She is blending. Y'all see all my hair products back there? Had to go to the archives. I have realized since I've been doing a lot more wigs that it takes a lot more products and I've always wanted super curly hair, but I had just sprayed myself in the face. I had no idea how much work it is. So my curly hair ladies, y'all are amazing. And I commend you. I am pretty happy with how this is looking. And I don't even have the extra combs on the inside attached. I just did the ones around the part. Yo, I mean, I know my hair is not the same texture as this, but because it's wet and it's all kind of laying, I feel like it's working. Make sure this back part is covered. I was really worried I wasn't gonna be able to get this to do right, but it is going. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. I feel like I'm almost there. I want it a little tamer because I know once it dries, it's going to be a little bigger, but wow. You can see like this, I think, yeah, this is my hair right here, but just scrunching it with the mousse and like mixing it in, I think it looks really good. The back is covered. My part ain't looking as smooth as I would like, but again, with this hair texture, I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna do a little more to the front of my hair just to lay it flat, but other than that, I feel like I'm done. I was really worried that I was not gonna be able to get this to stay, but it is, it is there. This is gorgeous. My hair could never, I wish. Let me fix the front and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I think this is it. This smile on my face, clearly I'm excited. I'm still, okay, first of all, it's hot in my room. These lights are literally making me sweat. So I'm trying to like not have hair stuck to my face. But to say this is nowhere near my hair texture, I had to use some mousse. I scrunched it a little bit. And then I just tucked my hair into the hair. So it's kind of like woven in and hidden a little bit. Like this piece is my hair, it's not stuck in there. So I need to stick that in. But other than that, like I feel like if I had natural hair, I would love for my hair to look like this. And now because of how thin the part is, like this looks like my hair. This looks like my hair. I'm gonna show y'all the back. I can't see what I did in the back. So hopefully it doesn't look crazy, but yeah, this is gorgeous. No lace, beginner friendly. No, I did leave some hair out, but again, if you have this curl pattern, you might not need to. This is just what I had to do to make it work for me. 
I am absolutely in love. I want to say thank you so much because I don't know that I would have had the courage to try this on my own. Thank you so much to I Like Hair for sending me this wig. And the best part about it is they did give me a discount code. This wig is a little pricey, but I mean, the, look at the hair. It's gorgeous and it's so thick. The discount code is Barbell Barbie, and that gets you 25% off your order. So if you want to try this out, now is the time. Use the code, save some money, let them know that y'all saw my video by using that code. So thank you for sticking with me till the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think. Does this fit me? Do you think it looks good? I absolutely love it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you decide to stay. Hit that subscribe button, stick around, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. So workout is done, fan is still on, but I mean, we got a little sweaty. It's a little big, but I still ain't mad at it. This hair is absolutely gorgeous and I am so excited. I took a chance on it. It looks good and I've gotten a lot of compliments, so I'm excited. Ready to get in the house and shut it down. <laughs> 